I mean, he approached us about being part of the program and uh, uh, eventually gave him an opportunity, practiced with us in the spring, um, and then was part of the 105-man roster in the fall uh, when we started camp last week, and uh, that's kind of where we are. He's on the football team. Um, he uh, you know, will not play this year, and moving forward, uh, you know, plan on having him uh, with us as long as he follows everything that was outlined in that release. If it was something he did in Sumerville and then was punished like by a law for that, and then they tried to punish him again. I mean, like in the Constitution, doesn't it say like you, double jeopardy? You can't be punished for the same crime twice. It's not like he uh, got a speeding ticket. You know, I mean, what they said was said. He did do his time, but football is a privilege. It's not a right. I mean, I do believe in second chances, but for instance, if someone would kill someone. That person don't get a second chance. I mean, rape's not killing someone, but. If he did it one place, regardless, I don't think he's gonna change. And he's... There's a lot of young kids here and parties around here, so who knows if it's gonna happen again and if he's actually gonna get caught this time. So with him being accepted into YSU, I don't think that's a really should be happening.